I'm thankful, thankful for my family, my friends, my food, my home, my family. I'm thankful, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful to be able to say good morning to all the students every day. I'm thankful for my family and having friends so I can play with it being at Buckley Elementary School. Um, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and my house. I'm thankful for my family and the food that I have. My cousin in the Air Force. I'm thankful for my great uncle and my uncle who served in the military. I'm thankful for my parents, my brother, and my dog. I am thankful for my family, my students, and just working at Buck Lake Elementary School with the librarian, Karen Young. I am thankful for probably my family and um, the books that can entertain me. Oh. I'm thankful for my family. I am thankful for my family and my friends in my school. I'm thankful for my family and all my friends. I'm thankful for my family and my friends. I'm thankful for my mom and dad. I am thankful for that we're all healthy. I'm thankful for my mom. I'm thankful for my dad. I'm thankful for the things that I've been given and the gift to have stuff that some kids don't have. I'm thankful for all the people who donate to people who need stuff. I'm <laughs> thankful for my mom supporting Veterans Day. I'm thankful for God supporting us. I'm thankful for my family because they give me food and clothes and the things that I would like. I'm thankful for my family for giving me food. I'm thankful for shelter. I'm thankful for Miss Young not to call me Ryan. Okay. I am thankful for my family because they gave me food, water, and stuff I would like. I'm thankful for my family and I'm thankful for my brothers. I'm thankful for my clothes and my parents for shelter. I am thankful my family buying me clothes and buying me food and stuff for me to live. I'm thankful for my family and friends. I'm thankful for my family and my friends. I'm thankful for video games from Naki because I need something to keep me from being bored. I'm thankful for my friends and family. I hope that all of y'all have some delicious food this Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for my family and I hope you have a great dinner this Thanksgiving. Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Tuesday to you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Today is Tuesday, November the 24th and it is special area day three. Hey friends, check your backpacks, check your folders, check your pockets. We need all those lucky goat orders to the office 
today, preferably first thing this morning, so we can hand those over to our PTO personnel and our office staff is working hard on those. So listen, we are not going to be able to take any late orders. Today is Tuesday. We're not coming to school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So they must be turned in today. That's imperative. What does imperative mean for those kindergartners out there? It means very, very important. So we can't wait to see which class sold the most coffee. So that class is going to get a hot cocoa party. And the teacher is going to get a free bag of Lucky Goat coffee. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of caffeinated people, grown-ups around the city of Tallahassee and beyond, and it will be exciting to see how this fundraiser will impact our entire school. Let's check out what's cooking today in the Buck Lake Cafeteria. Here's the menu for today. You're going to have turkey, ham and cheese croissant, corn, lima beans, and assorted fruit. You get your choice of white chocolate or strawberry milk. You know, we normally have a great big Thanksgiving meal, and um, obviously we were not able to have it this year. It's one, always one of my favorite times when we get to have all of our students and our families, parents and grandparents come in. We will look forward to that next year, we hope. And so, but listen, you're having turkey, ham, and cheese croissant. It's like a little mini turkey meal and we hope you enjoy it. Let's look at our weather forecast for this terrific Tuesday. The high will be 75. The low will be 45 with sunny skies all day. Now the possibility of rain is going to be creeping in and may make an appearance on Thanksgiving Day. That's going to bring some cooler weather in, much cooler weather for next week. So listen to me. While you are on break, I want you to get your favorite hoodies. If you're going to have hats or mittens or jackets or sweaters and mark your first and last name in it, grade in it. And so if by chance you possibly lose it, you will be able to have it returned to you. It doesn't end up in a pile in Lost and Found, never to be seen again. We want to wish these Bobcats a very, very happy birthday. The first thing I need to do is I need to wish Miss Widener, who celebrated her birthday yesterday. We hope you had a wonderful birthday, Miss Widener. Your class told me that you were hoping for something special from your doctor. I hope you got it. I hope you did. Now, also today, Miss Eva Hollis and Miss Brittle, second grade class, it is your birthday, and we hope you have a great day. On Thanksgiving Day, these sweet little turkey, I mean bobcats, will be celebrating their birthday. Happy birthday to Rhett Dollinger in second grade. Rhett has told me he's going to have something extra fun to help celebrate his birthday at his house. And Caleb Bo in fifth grade, it is your birthday as well. Caleb, I can't believe you're in fifth grade already. Have a great day. Hey, Jackson Kramer in first grade, Henry Klein in third grade. Elise Ott in third grade and Madeline Stapleton in fourth grade will all be celebrating their birthdays the day after Thanksgiving on November 27th. Now, Bailey Tucker in third grade, you're going to be celebrating your birthday on November 28th. Have a wonderful day, Bailey, and then get ready for this. We have a long list of birthdays for Sunday, November the 29th. Sailor Allen in second grade, happy birthday. Christian Crane Amores in fourth grade. Veda Druick in second grade. Elise Eichland in second grade. Elton Gumble in second grade. Ella H in third grade in Mr. Ricky's class. At Ella Taylor and Nolan Taylor in kindergarten. You will all be celebrating your birthday before we see you next on November 29th. And so we wish all of those Bobcats a happy birthday. Here's a few jokes to tickle your funny bone this morning. What kind of tood is appropriate at the family dinner? You know what I'm talking about. You know sometimes you get a tood with your family or your sister or brother or your parents even. So what kind of tood is appropriate at a family dinner? Gratitude. Remember we talked about that last week. Why did mom's turkey seasoning taste a little off this 
off last year. She ran out of time. Time's a seasoning that uh, you might use in your stuffing. Why was the turkey asked to join a band? Because he could bring his own bump bump drumsticks. Okay, here, this might be my favorite one ever. You ready? What sound does a turkey's phone make? Wing, wing. Ah! You know you love it. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'll even say it again. What sound does a turkey's phone make? Wing, wing. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? I know. I'm cracking myself up. Listen, we want to congratulate three Bobcats who reached the Principal's Challenge this week. That means they read and passed the AR test for 15 Sunshine State books, guys. That's amazing. Already by Thanksgiving, they've done it. So, Caden, Casto, and Clara Berg, man, y'all worked hard on these, and you completed those and um, passed all 15. This will be your last Principal's Challenge at Buck Lake, and I am so proud of you. Caden and Claire, you need to let me know. I'm thinking you all may have reached that goal every year that it was possible, but you'll have to confirm that with me. And also, one of our Digital Academy fourth graders, Abai, he also reached the challenge. Actually, the end of last week, Abai, we are so proud of you for doing that from home. I know it's a challenge to get those books, so way to go, uh, bye. We will let um, our friends who are here know when our principal's lunch is, and a uh, bye, your necklace is ready to be picked up. We enjoyed hearing at the beginning of the WBLS news about what some of our Bobcats are thankful for, and I hope you did to listen I'm going to invite you when I sign off make sure and stay tuned there's about a three minute presentation um, of an exciting award at the end of the news for the healthy lives calendar competition congratulations we actually had an award Natalia Walker is actually having her picture highlighted in the month of April. I don't want to give it all away, so you'll hear about it um, if you will please stay tuned for that. It's just a quick little three-minute video, and we want to congratulate all of our participants, and we want to say a big thank you to Miss McDowell for always bringing art to life each day here at Buck Lake Elementary. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, Bobcats. We have so much to be thankful for here at our school and within our community. And I am thankful for each one of you. That's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr. Be prepared. Be upstanding. Be responsible. And be respectful citizens. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Have a great holiday break, Bobcats. Now, I'm here because we did another contest for Healthy Lives with Radiologies and Associates, and we had five friends that entered, and all five got to go. And Natalia was our winner for the month of April, so she gets this big gag with these nuts. So, yes, we're so proud. Yay. And this is hers right here, and we'll show you the calendar in just a minute. And then these are our other friends, which are... Haley Whitmore, come on down, and Abby, and Finley Humes, and Abby Cope, and our only gentleman of the evening, Mr. Will Millard. And so all of us, we are all the month of April. Natalia's is the big page, and then the rest of us all have a page, a, a, a day in there, which is really cool too. So I'll let you say hello, and then we'll show you our calendar so this is April and all of us are on the month which is really cool because before other calendars they weren't that way so we were so excited
excited because this is a really big deal. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mrs. McDowell, but every elementary school in the district is invited to They're participate. They're invited to participate, but you know what? Because of everything that was going on, we only had 13 schools oh, okay. do it. So what that means for us, though, is the amount of money that are, are gained by selling these um, calendars is divided then just between 13 schools. Last year we had almost 20, so the money was less with your division. So this year, uh, the art department will get any money that's gained from the sale of these calendars. So get out and buy one of these calendars <laughs> and enjoy April, which is Buck Lake's month. That's right. Way to represent, guys. We're proud of you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yay.